It is now time for dual shield, so we're running 71 T1 and 045 wire diameter with 100% CO2 gas. Our maximum wire feed speed on 110 is 180 inches a minute at 24.9 volts. Make sure your ground is on minus and your lead is on positive. We're switching to dual shield flux core. It is Select Arc 730. This wire is an all position flux core. And we're going to start off running some stringers on this plate right here with 100% CO2 on 110 power. And we are around 180 inches a minute at 24.9 volts. I have this uh, fitting to go to my standard 580. And when you're looking at a flow meter, here it shows argon or argon CO2. So you got to rotate the flow meter around and on this back side, there's CO2. So if I rotate this around, here you can see carbon dioxide. This is where you want to check your flow rate when you're setting your gas mix. So I'm going to go ahead and hit purge on the machine. And then I'm going to take my valve and I'm going to set my flow around 30 CFH on the carbon dioxide. Select Arc 730 is an all position wire where you can use 7525 or 100% CO2. Based on the welding wire specification, about an inch and quarter contact tip to work distance, I'm going to be running about a 20 to 25 degree drag angle like this. And you always want to drag dual shield flux core or flux core in general because you don't want to get slag inclusions. So slag inclusions, what ends up happening is the puddle doesn't have time to solidify, and then the slag gets caught inside the puddle. Let's go ahead and strike an arc here. Now on your first stringer pass, you want to try to follow a line. So on this one, I'm going to follow the edge of the plate to try and stay consistent. Now we're running about 180 inches a minute, which equates to somewhere around 120 amps. Keep in mind, this is on 110 power. We just got done running our first stringer. And you should be able to take your slag hammer right along the edge like this and it should just pop off that easy. You want to build up this whole edge. Now the thing is, where are you going to place this second stringer pass? Are you going to place it here with a long weave? Probably not. Or you could place it here and follow the edge. But what I do is I'm usually about uh, an eighth or three sixteenths out and I want to watch that puddle wet into the toes. So these are the toes of the weld right here. I'm gonna watch it wet in. And then again, I just have a nice smooth drag angle and watch that puddle hit the toes. Make sure you grab that brush and clean the slag off before you lay your second, third, or fourth pass. And remember, all this is is practice. So practice makes perfect. 045 dual shield flux core with 100% CO2 on 110 power. Getting comfortable with your position and the way you feel with the torch is the number one thing. And what I do is I put my elbows tight to my waist. And the reason why is I'm not free floating out here, which can cause, you know, a miss uh, weld area in the weld joint. So I get my elbows really tight and then I make sure I can slide across the base plate. So I'm going to put my wire in the joint and I'm going to slide across moving my body and not just my arms. We're gonna run some uh, 80 thousandths plate with uh, this dual shield flux core, the 100% CO2 on 110 power, just to show the limitations on the gauge material. Let's get welding. Let's take a look at this 80 thousandths lap joint with 045 dual shield. Now, we don't want to extend above about an inch contact tip to work distance because it did make the bead a little ropey. We are on 110 power at about 170 inches per minute uh, wire feed speed. And as long as your contact tip to work distance is consistent, uh, you shouldn't see any ropiness, which is around 115 inches. We just got done welding this lap joint. It's 80 thousandths material thickness. And we used 045 Select Arc 730 with 100% CO2 on 110 power. We were around 170 inches per minute at 18 0.2 volts. Let's see how well this slag comes off. Oh yeah, look at that. Comes off really nice. And the back side, I do have a little bit of burn through right here, but that could be user error. Um, but as far as using an 045, turned out really well.
we're going to run a quarter inch horizontal fillet weld with 100% CO2 all on one tempo. We have some quarter inch plate and we are going to do a horizontal fillet weld T-joint on 110 power with the 7030 um, select arc dual shield flux core with 100% CO2 and it's all on 110 power at 180 inches a minute and 23.6 volts. You want to make sure you're running a 50 or a 15 to 25 degree drag angle. You're also gonna do this on the fillet weld. So your drag angle is this. Now you have a different angle too. You have this angle from the top and bottom plate. So if you were this high on your angle this way, you're not going to wet in on the top plate. Now if you're down too far this way on your angle, it's not gonna get on the bottom plate. So what I always do is make sure my wire is right in the center of the joint get my drag angle, like I said, a 15 to 25 degree drag, make sure my elbows are tight to my chest, and then I slide across the weld joint just like this. This quarter inch plate on 110 power is kind of starving a little bit, and I understand it because for the Select Arc 730, the optimum range for a flatter horizontal weld is somewhere in the 400 inches per minute. And this has given us 180 on 110 power. As long as we keep our travel speed slow, we can stay consistent with the toes of the weld. As long as you can stay slow, that's the key. Let's go ahead and clean it off so we can see what it looks like. And look at that. Not too shabby. Let's take our little brushy do. Give it a little brushy brush. That looks pretty good. Now, based on the specs, would say an optimum range for this wire and gas mix is somewhere around 400 to 450 inches a minute. So being that we're only 180 inches a minute, we are going a little slower. So let's put this on 230 volt and see what it does. Now let's do the same thing, quarter inch horizontal fillet weld, but on 230 volt power. We're gonna run the same horizontal fillet weld, but on 230 volt. Our maximum wire feed speed we can get out of the front is Trans Steel 2200 is 310 inches a minute at 26.1 volts. So we are roughly 80 inches per minute uh, lower than the optimal uh, for the 730 from Select Arc. Yeah, you can definitely tell the difference on 230 volt power. So on the Trans Steel 2200, we're around 310 inches per minute wire feed speed at 26.5 volts. Now for the Select Arc 730, the optimum range is around 400 inches a minute for any flat and horizontal weldment. We're a little bit short, but at least you can see the limits. Let's go ahead and clean this on the 230 volt. Toasty. Oh yeah, you can see the difference. A lot more consistent. The toes wet in really nice on the top and bottom. Yeah, you can definitely see we're getting more towards that optimal range and it does make sense with this wire. Let's kick it into high gear with a vertical up T-joint with 100% CO2 on 230 volt power. One of the biggest benefits of dual shield flux core is out of position welding. So here we have a quarter inch fillet weld and we're going to run a 3F position. I'm going to run my torch angle somewhere about a 5 degree upward push angle like this so I can see what I'm doing. Now you want to make sure you're in the weld joint because one of the biggest issues that can happen is you're too far off to the right or too far into the left and all of a sudden you have inconsistencies in your weld. So make sure you're right in that weld joint and then run it straight up like this. Since we're out of position, it's really difficult to get braced on something. You could be like this if you wanted to, or let's say maybe you're free floating. If you're free floating, tuck those elbows into your waist and then use your legs to give you that nice smooth motion. And then when you get about halfway, just continue it up with your arms. I like to keep a neutral torch position with about an inch contact hip to work distance so I can see what I'm doing as far as being in the joint or outside the joint. But based on the 730 wire specification, you need to be around 300 inches per minute for anything out of position. 
and our settings are exactly right. So let's see what it looks like after we're done. We just finished this weld. Now, uh, not all flux cores are all positioned like this one. So the Select Arc 730 is all positioned, meaning you can run flat, horizontal, overhead, vertical up. They do make uh, flux core wires for flat and horizontal only. So make sure you check your wire specification prior to doing this. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the slag. Let's see if we can get it knocked off. Hot.